presentation of my set of enhancement for the this, those three figures. So they are the original Datsun Brothers in their classics version. Uh, I really like those interpretations of the characters, but there are some parts that I did not like. So as you can see, the enhancements on those three figures are the guns, obviously, and the necks are different and there are some other parts small parts inside they help uh, to level the their chest so I will show that up close uh, I have a an okay blue streak here which I will open and put the set on this one so you can see how to put this on and I also have a prowl that doesn't have the set on so I will show them side by side so as you can see here's the gun Here's the neck piece. Uh, you will have to need to raise this to use it. And there are those two parts here. So uh, I have uh, many colors of the guns. I did not decide yet which color I will use finally for the gun. So I have a black gun, a silver gun, a uh, uh, gray gun so I will be showing this through this video so let's see uh, the prowls side by side first so these are the figures side by side I tried to pose them very similar way so that you can see the difference so as you can see uh, this one has a black color that he originally had and the one on the left has no color so the head is sitting is not sticking out so much you this part has to be raised unfortunately but in my opinion it still is better than the one on the right and also uh, the front his chest is more par parallel to the ground and in this one to the left as you can see it's sticking down and this is because uh, there are two small parts here that you slide in and they allow for transformation and they keep this part from collapsing all the way so it's only uh, collapsing up to this point and this helps with with uh, achieving this shape also now uh, the head has a slight up movement so it can move up kind of down if you right raise this but you you have the option to look up so this is what you want so I will show you how to attach this on uh, the Henkei blue streak. So blue streak is now opened. And this is actually the first time I opened an a Henkei figure, so it's a really nice experience. I like the way that he's stiff. I'm not a big fan of the chrome <laughs> launchers actually, but but I really like uh, the rest of the colors. So uh, if you don't want to modify the figure. Uh, very much there are enhancements that you can use without the modification so here is a gun and this is a gun based on a G1 a Datsun gun so he can use it so there is this uh, and the first figures will come the first two sets will come with this one which is a much uh, bigger gun so I can as you can see uh, they are now having uh, gun, new guns, but this one is still uh, has his chest more like this one. The chest on this one is uh, is facing down a bit. So, and this is because uh, this one has two bumpers that I will now insert into this one. So I have a back of them here. So these are the two parts. And the way you attach them is you lift this part up and you just slide them like this over here. So let me show you up close. So you just slide them, make sure that the right side is on. So this one slides over here and this one slides over here. So like this. So there is no permanent damage when using those two and now when you put this down it actually helps the chest to lock like this and you have 
this look so it's it's not facing down and it's parallel and it, it will transform and that w and I will show you and the other change is the neck that I will also change now but to do that you will have to unscrew some screws and remove a pin but uh, I will show you how to do this in an easy way so you will need a screwdriver and this thing is very helpful I will be probably adding one to uh, every new set I will show you how to use this and first of all you need to unscrew those two screws and this will allow you to move this whole side and remove and let's put the figure to the side and now you will have to remove this pin and you will have to judge which side is uh, the one that was pushed in I think this is the side that it was pushed in because this is not all the way through and just put this thing like on the ground oh, let me adjust the camera make sure that it's hitting the the pin and just push down and it should go So it's not going out easily. <laughs> the other three went out with no problem, so maybe Henke is a bit harder, we will see. So, whoa, be careful. Uh, this is not that hard to do when you, you're looking straight at it, but to show this on camera, I am at this bad angle, so. As you can see, this thing pushed through, and now this pin is out. And you can remove, reuse this pin, but I will add a pin that's, I mean, a metal bar that it's that's bet, I mean, not better, but not as hard to remove. So after this whole process, you you will be able to put the original part back on. So the, here's a spring and here is this part so now you will have to remove this head and it's easy you just unscrew the back and remove this part so this is this is the original part and this is the new neck as you can see it's not round so it can, it can look up and down once you unscrew the head, you just have to push this head over this part, like this. It doesn't have to go all the way, because uh, when you screw this part in, it will help to secure that part. So it's best to use, just use the screw and this force to secure it in place you can see it's now now secure and it can move up and down it seems like it's breaking but it's not so it's moving out this part here it will break if you force it but with the small slight movement it should not break you can also turn the head as you can see but at the side it's more wobbly so but you can do it so this is this part and now let's get the new bar so this is a new metal bar that will come with the set and you just place this part here like this and just push it through you can use your fingers because should go in with no problem so to make sure it's all the way you can use a tool because the edges might be a bit sharp so this is the part I can write it like this and now it's a simple task of just moving this 
back to place. Let me adjust the camera back. So right now, uh, you just have to move everything up. Uh, this is on the hinge here, so you can move this up so it doesn't interfere with you sliding it up. Okay, and now we screw those two screws back on. And the second one. So let's move those parts to the side. And now you have Blue Streak with his head not sticking up as much. So it's up you, to you to decide if this is this look is better for you. For me personally, it's what I was what I was missing. As you can see, on blue streak and on uh, smoke screen, uh, the this race part is not that visible in my opinion. But proud, it may be a bit more visible because of the the colors. But this is blue streak, and he can look slightly up right now and there are a few guns uh, I think this will be the basic gun that will come with him but there are also black versions of the gun so perhaps this will come with blue streak <laughs> I haven't decided yet I will probably gi be giving some options to choose from so these are the two guns. This is of course small screen and he has a, a red gun. I have made a test gun in white for Prowl. So if you would like to have for him to have a white gun, that is also an option. So So here you go. Here are the three Datsun brothers with the upgrades and let us transform blue streak to show you how uh, he can transform with the set and I will skip to the last part of the transformation because uh, you all should, should know the steps uh, to get there. So this is blue streak mostly transformed. Uh, if you pull on this head very hard it may pop up like this but it takes some force so but this it shouldn't fall pop up uh, after normal use so just so you know and now when you have it like this you just tuck it in like this and it should everything should fit in here something is not aligned properly okay it's in so as you can see, he can be transformed. This is the part here is visible here. Those two bumps are still here. He can still roll. So, and to transform him back, you just just reverse this movement. So you just put the head up. You can help yourself with the finger here. and continue with the transformation so let's me tr let me transform him to a robot mode and sum everything up so this was a short presentation of the set I will probably be adding a link to an auction and uh, there will be two variants of this part here for the neck so show you to compare them I will show them on this. So this is a one variant, and it has a round peg. It doesn't allow for up and down movement, and this is a second one that it's shorter, so it allows for up and down movement, but it's it can be popped off more easily. But I I prefer this one, but I will also be adding this variant. So the colors will be red for of course for smoke screen, uh, black for uh, blue streak and white for plow, prowl for the neck uh, similar with the uh, the pieces, this will be grey 
this will be red and I think for Plow it will be black because of the the way his uh, robot part is uh, formed there will be also the metal bars to put this thing in and guns and I did not decide on the color variant for each version yet so it will probably I'll be in the action on there or there will be some options and our first two and first two orders will have this big gun that that is a prototype so thank you for watching this sorry if this was a bit chaotic and uh, thank you for supporting me and my projects and see you out there